Hello and welcome to another video with DIY Geek. In this video, I'm going to review this automatic foam machine. This is a soap dispenser uh, with a foaming device that comes out of this nozzle straight to your hand um, using this motion sensing and it has a container, a reusable uh, soap container that you can put in your soap in here. It takes only supposedly 0.25 seconds for you to receive your foam into your hand. For some reason, uh, this bug hitch a ride from China, I guess. This is the back of the packaging and it says automatic foam machine um, and a bunch of other specs and uh, that's about it. I am going to be comparing this uh, to the best, well, I, I think this is the best in the industry, which is a foam soap dispenser uh, by Simple Human. So Simple Human is a name brand in the US, well, I mean, it's probably sold all around the world, but it's definitely a name brand. They usually make very nice product, um, solid finish, and um, yeah, so I have a video for this soap dispenser that I did last week. I will put the link in the description. If you like to watch that video, please click on that link. And um, this is about $40. And um, so this is expensive. Now this one um, I purchased for only $12 from Amazon. However, uh, unfortunately you cannot get it anymore for $12. That was a one-time special. Uh, a few hours later, as I was sharing it to friends and family, uh, some of my friends and family couldn't even buy it anymore that same day because the deal ran out. But I got one for $12. So I'm going to open it and show it to you guys and uh, demonstrate how this thing works in comparison to the expensive kind. I cannot find my knife, so I'm just gonna rip this up. Okay. I always have a problem with this. <sighs> okay, there you go. Right, nothing else in the box. And let's see how this opens. Okay, so we have a manual. And this is in English, which is good. Um, looks like I have to have some four triple a batteries why triple a um, and i have to fill it with some liquid yeah i it always cracks me up how weird these you see these right here it says well let me let me flip it this way actually pH faintly acid what does that even mean I found an answer it's displayed on your iPhone okay well those are the features okay so this is the manual on this side is just a bunch of specs Okay. Cheap plastic, but it is completely transparent. But this is the kind of plastic that I hate. I think it's going to get scratched up soon. So, this is the uh obviously the hose that sucks up the liquid soap. Looks okay. Made of rubber. It goes all the way to the bottom and the nozzle just kind of 
screws in, okay. Yeah, you would think that um, these kind of devices um, should be pretty cheap, right? I mean, after all, it's just a pump that pumps up the liquid and it does something to foam it, whatever, inject air, I guess, to foam it. And then a uh, motion sensor, put it and then split it out to your hand. Should be pretty simple, but I don't know why this one costs $40, $50. Okay, so the bottom of this looks pretty simple. Um, it has some kind of uh, latching mechanism here. I don't know why that is even needed. Well, actually that's for latching probably to, to remove the, uh, the top. But here, it looks like it's just a twist for this to attach on, I think. Let me see. Yeah. So you just kind of twist it. Whoops. Oh, that's not good. Now I got this thing stuck. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Let me see if I can get that unstuck. Okay, my thread is not lined up. Uh-oh. Well, I guess that's okay, because all I have to do is fill this up, right? And uh, if I unscrew it, it completely unscrew here, so that looks like that's permanently there, I guess, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, so I accidentally uh, got the thing stuck, but you can just put it down and screw it carefully. That will work too, okay? So no problem. All right, so what we're gonna do next? I guess I am going to uh, figure out how to put the batteries in yeah okay so I'm gonna guess the batteries goes here so if I remove that yes it is you see all that okay so I need some triple-a four or four triple-a batteries and um, and we'll see what happens okay I got the batteries four of them these are cheap Harbor Freight Thunderbolt batteries and uh, good thing I look first before I put it in because you can tell here that these are shorted together so two are always shorted together which means that even though I see all springs down there um, I bet you they are not all um, minuses that's supposed to go down there okay sure enough I see some marking here so there's a, a plus sign here, minus. I guess that's gonna be a plus and a minus. So we're gonna start with plus on top, like that. And then just flip flop it as we go to, whoops, that one is wrong. So that's positive as it is indicated. And this is going to be negative, all right. So I think that's it. Um, hopefully I was right if not I guess we are going to know soon I don't see any power switch and also the light didn't come on what am I supposed to do now plus minus plus minus yeah Oh, it turns on for a little bit there, but yeah, I saw a light come came on. Oh, there you go. It definitely made some kind of noise. So I'm gonna fill this up with liquid soap and we'll give it a test. Okay, I'm back with this liquid soap um, 
I use concentrated soap, probably about, I don't know, I don't know how many ounces it is. Um, seven pumps from my kitchen soap dispenser, which are concentrated uh, dishwasher, I mean liquid dish soap. And I just have water in there. So what we're gonna do is just, because our nozzle is already stuck, thanks to my ingenious testing strength, I guess. Okay, so the battery's still on. I guess we are going to test. Nothing came out. Well, that sucks. Ooh, the third try foam came out. Look, there's no foam down there, even though the, the, the hose is all the way down there, but obviously this is liquid soap. Well, actually I didn't even put too much soap in there. All right, let's try it again. Wow, that's really good foam actually. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Look at that. Let me put it sideways so you can see better. Wow. I mean, it's noisier than the um, simple human, but I think it still works really good. Yeah. I mean, you have to get also get close where the simple human has this, um, all these, uh, I guess gradual, um, how much amount of soap do you want to be dispensed? So the lower you are, if when your hand is lower, it dispenses more. When your hand is closer to the nozzle, it dispenses less. This thing has not, it doesn't have any of that, but let's give it a try to see when it start detecting my hand. Yeah, so that's the bad thing. You have to get pretty damn close, almost touching it before that thing, before the sensor picks it up, picks, your, picks up your hand and actually start dispensing. Yep, has to get pretty darn close. Yeah, that's the bad thing. Other than that, actually, it works great. Um, I'm gonna do one more thing because this is so easy to replace. I'm going to uh, transfer the, con the, the content of this to another uh, container so I'm not wasting this soap and I'm gonna put some hand sanitizer in and then test it again for you guys. Okay, I'm back and I have hand sanitizer now filled in here. And as you guys know, hand sanitizers are thicker. So I only fill in about one centimeter at the bottom there. And uh, surprisingly, when I was unscrewing this uh, liquid container, the cap here that screws in actually came off. So I thought to myself, okay, how do I prevent that? One way to prevent it is actually just to screw this one tighter than you would when you screw it in here. So that should prevent the, uh, uh, the mishap that I did. See, so you just... Actually, the, when you put it in here, it only requires like a quarter, a quarter of a turn, not even full turn, just kind of like to latch it in place. That's it. All right, so we are ready to test the uh, hand sanitizer. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's going to require some pumping for it to get um, prime again, but um, to, to prime meaning to, to load up the uh, hand sanitizer. But let's see how many primes, how many pumps it takes. That's number one, nothing. Well, it's, this is still leftover soap from the uh, 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 hand washing soap foam. Two, still nothing. Three, still nothing. Four, nothing. Five, nothing, but I still, I, I hear it. It's, it's making different noise. I think that's six. Seven. Yep, I'm just making sure that the uh, the hose is fully in there. Eight. Nine. 
10, 11, 12, 13. It's coming out a little bit. Oh, it's just like sputtering. It's like spitting. Uh, it's coming out, you can see here, but it's not nearly enough. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, the hose is all the way in, so I don't think it's because there's not enough hand sanitizer. There's definitely enough in there. Yeah, so you get so little. It's like you have to do it like probably like four or five times in order for you to get enough uh, to sanitize your hand properly. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, for some reason, it does not work for a hand sanitizer. Damn. I was really hoping that it would work. Okay, well, um, disappointed. Okay, so I filled up the liquid container with uh, liquid soap again. And um, the liquid soap is actually very little, by the way. Um, the concentrated soap is probably like one tenth of the entire liquid. So nine part water, one tenth uh, soap. That, but that's concentrated uh, dishwashing soap, I think. Anyhow, um, conclusions. Um, in comparison to Simple Human, um, one thing that I really don't like is the fact that my hand to have to come really close to the sensor in order for it to start foaming, uh, start dispensing, I mean. Um, aside from that, the second thing that I don't like is the fact that this is battery um, powered, where the simple human is chargeable. See right there? You can charge it or you can recharge it, sorry. sorry. And simple human is really easy to use. Uh, to let go of the dispenser, you just press this, pop, comes out. How about that? Just pop it back in and you're, you're back in. But again, this is easily two times the amount. So you can buy two of these for one of these. Um, for just soap dispensing, if you don't mind, just throwing in batteries every couple of months, I think this is fine. Um, it's, a, it's a good device, it does its job. Um, you can be uh, touchless and, um, and it's really convenient to, to have a touchless uh, soap dispenser actually. So consider buying these uh, from Amazon if you like. I will have the uh, link uh, to my Amazon um, affiliate link in the uh, description and, uh, and uh, also probably uh, in the comment. I would appreciate if you use my link to purchase this. Uh, it helps support making these videos and um, supports my channel. Uh, if you like the content of this video and uh, think that this is uh, useful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friend. And please subscribe to my channel. Um, I really am trying to um, create a good channel on YouTube and, and trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. Please help me subscribe. Uh, please help subscribe to my channel. Well, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself videos like these and support my channel. Thank you.